ODM party leader Rayla Odinger on Sunday opened up on his relationship with Deputy President William Ruto, accusing the country's second-in-command of unethical practice. Mr. Odinger claimed that DP Ruto lied about the March 9, 2018 handshake by claiming that he, Rayla, had first approached him before reaching out to President Uro Kenyatta. I can swear. I never ever talked to William Ruto, said Odinger, adding that it was very unethical of Ruto to claim that the ODM party leader approached him before the handshake. In April last year, Ruto, in an interview on Citizen TV, alleged that Odinger approached him four times after the 2017 elections, before the opposition chief went ahead to engage President Kenyatta in what would culminate in a much-publicized handshake at the steps of Harambee House. I was shocked and surprised when he, Ruto, mentioned that I had approached him. That is very unethical. Why would I call Ruto, I would rather call the president. I can swear. I never ever talked to William Ruto but the good Samaritans know themselves, said the ODM leader in a Sunday interview on NTV. Odinger says he reached out to the president after some good Samaritans convinced him to do so. Some good Samaritans talked to me and I told them that under these conditions I'm ready to talk. Ultimately, the conditions were met and we talked. We met just the two of us, he added. Odinger says his relationship with DP Ruto is basically cordial and that they don't talk much but they greet each other. Do you talk with DP William Ruto? Odinger was asked in the interview. In response he said, we greet each other. Our relationship is basically cordial. I have no serious issues with him. Would you say you are friends with William Ruto at the moment? He was further asked, to which he replied, I don't hate him as a person. There are certain things he does or has done that are basically contrary to what I would think is the correct way of doing things. The former Prime Minister says his main problem with the Deputy President is corrupting the political process. You see, for example, he is the Deputy President and he knows very well that in this country we had conducted an investigation. Parliament had a select committee led by Kogi Wamware that conducted investigations about Harambees and it was established that Harambees are a source of corruption and they should be banned. That is why under my administration with Kabaki, there were no Harambees. Then he, Ruto, decides to resurrect Harambees and he is running around donating money whose sources are dubious. In my view this is corrupting the political process, said Odinger. What kind of business does William Ruto own that makes those millions he produces every week? 52 weeks in a year, he contributes not less than ksh.5 million every weekend. If you do a lifestyle audit of Mr. William Ruto, you will find that the source of that money is questionable. And that is the issue I have with him. Otherwise I have no serious personal issues with him.